A few weeks ago, we made a quick video about using the Renishaw probe for part inspection. We received a request from a viewer to repeat the test with the ring gauge. That's a great idea, and we're happy to give it a try. We're also going to use this as an opportunity to dive into the concepts of measurement uncertainty, accuracy, and precision, and then determine the formal uncertainty of the Renishaw probe and talk about what this means for part inspection. This gauge is a nominal 2 inches, but the manufacturer has inspected it and states that it is exactly 1.99996 inches, and laser marked this on the gauge. I set this up in the machine and used a toe clamp to prevent it from moving. I've seen people use double-sided tape for this, and I bet that would work great, but I didn't have any handy at the time. If you're going to do this with a toe clamp, be sure that the side of the probe body isn't going to hit the stud or the nut. If you just purchased your Haas machine, the installation technician will calibrate the probe for you, but eventually you'll need to recalibrate it yourself, and you'll use a setup like this to do it. The machine has a macro cycle for calibration, and you'll supply the exact diameter of the ring gauge, and the machine will do the rest. I'm using the bore probing routine from the offset screen. We're trying something new here where we put the key presses on screen during the video. Please leave a comment and let us know what you think about this format. Next, I'm going to pull up the diameter that the machine measured from the current command screen. To get a higher confidence in this measurement, we repeated the test 9 more times for a total of 10 measurements. Between each measurement, I moved the probe slightly so that the measurement routine wasn't started from the exact same location. Here's the raw data from those trials presented in tabular form, as well as in graphical form. We can use this data to characterize both the accuracy and precision of this measurement technique. These words are often used interchangeably, but they mean different things. A dartboard is the easiest way to explain the difference. This pattern of shots is not particularly accurate, since the center of the grouping lies away from the center of the target, and not particularly precise, since the shots cover almost the entire dartboard. The next pattern is much more accurate, since it's fairly well centered on the target, but the shots are still widely scattered. This pattern is quite precise, since the shots are almost on top of each other, but the cluster lies far away from the center of the target, so it's not very accurate. The final pattern is both accurate, because the center of the grouping lies on the center of the target, and precise, because the shots are all very tightly clustered. In summary, accuracy describes how close the average of a set of measurements is to the true value, while precision describes how close each individual measurement is to the average of all the measurements. We usually express these terms together in a quantity called uncertainty. Uncertainty incorporates the effects of accuracy errors and precision errors, and you can think of it as the circle we have to draw on our dartboard to fully contain all the shots. Uncertainty gives us an idea of how close we can expect our measurements to be to the actual size of the thing we're inspecting. To determine the accuracy, we need to know the mean or average of the measurements. This is the mathematical notation for that operation, but all we're doing is summing all the measurements, then dividing by the total number of measurements, or in this case, 10. If we compare this value to the actual value marked on the ring gauge, we see that we have an accuracy error of 0.00013. In order to determine the precision, we need to use a statistical quantity called the standard deviation. The standard deviation is a way to express how widely scattered a set of measurements is from the mean. This is the mathematical notation for the standard deviation of a sample. The convention in metrology is to express the precision as plus or minus two standard deviations. The meaning of this is that if we ran the probing routine 100 times, 95 of the measurements would lie within two sigmas of the mean. Putting this all together, the total uncertainty is due to both accuracy and precision errors. Hence, we'll add the difference between the mean measurement and the actual gauge diameter to the two sigma value. This gives us a total uncertainty of plus or minus 0.00017 inches. A good rule of thumb is to choose an instrument that has a total uncertainty three to four times smaller than the tolerance you're trying to inspect. 
I wouldn't hesitate to rely on the probe to accurately inspect features down to about plus or minus one thou, and it probably would be fine for features of plus or minus five tenths, but I think that's about the limit of its accuracy. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. If you have any other ideas or questions, please be sure to leave a comment. Thanks!